When solving a linear formula, or literal equation, for a variable, it makes a big difference which variable we're solving for. Notice both of these problems, we're solving the same equation. A times the quantity x minus y equals b. However, in the first line, we're solving for a. In the second line, we're solving for b. Notice in the first line, we've got a couple choices. One thing many people do is they'll distribute the a through the parentheses to get ax minus ay equals b. The problem with this method, however, is that that puts the variable we want, a, in two different places. That may not be the best choice for solving this problem. Rather, since the a is in one place right now, we'll notice that it's connected to the x minus y through multiplication. The a is multiplied by this entire quantity of x minus y. To get rid of that a times x minus y, just like a times 7, we get rid of by dividing by 7, we can divide by that entire quantity, x minus y, in parentheses. By dividing that entire quantity that's grouped together by the parentheses, it will divide out, and the a is alone. Just like we want, and it is equal to b over x minus y. In the second line, though, we're not solving for a anymore, we're solving for x. The x is inside the parentheses now. So now we can start solving it using some of the methods we've seen before, which includes this time a benefit of distributing the a through the parentheses. This gives us ax minus ay equals b. Remember, our goal is to solve for x. We want to get the x alone. In the past, when solving two-step equations, we took care of any adding or subtracting first. So what is added or subtracted to the x? We have a negative ay. We can get rid of the negative ay with a positive ay on both sides. The ay subtract out to 0, and ax is equal to, with no like terms, we write b plus ay. Finally, we can get the x alone, it's a times x, to isolate the x, we divide out and get rid of the a on both sides. This gives us x equals b plus ay over a. The x is alone like we want, this becomes our final solution. Be very careful in this problem, we are not allowed to divide out the a's. We're only allowed to reduce if there is no adding or subtracting in the numerator and denominator. By virtue of that addition, we are not allowed to reduce this fraction. We'll get more into that in a much later video. For now, be careful to do no reducing if there is any adding or subtracting.